This video was recorded in the middle of a heat wave. Any shininess is definitely due to natural sparkle and charm. And not sweat. Hey everybody, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leigh Catherine, this is Leigh Sees Movies and we are back with the next episode of Young Justice. Last week I thought we were about to see some Game of Thrones shit and I was like inordinately excited about that fact. Um, we saw people being harpooned, Forager is naked, just all out and exposed and with no consideration for passerby, very, very squeaky, very guji, not a fan. Um, and also we almost murdered a house full of children, literal babies, uh, and their assorted super mothers. And <laughs> now that that idea has been floated, it's all I can think about. Like, I'm really overly interested in seeing that come to pass now because I just want there to be a little timeline where all of the heroes just go like, ven like murderously vengeful, I think. <laughs> Like, and it's not going to be like the permanent timeline, we're not going to keep it, but just as like a teaser, if this is what the season is going to be, I'm not opposed to seeing it. Like you can, it's ballsy. It's a big move to introduce that into the world and then think I'm not going to want to see it. Okay? I don't know. Maybe I'm the problem here, but I think it'd be fun. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. So coming off of that almost murder spree and also actual murder from last episode, we can only go up from here, I think. Or down, really every episode. I'm like, well, we're gonna, you know, relax. We're gonna solve some of the rough edges and just have a good time. And then this season has just kind of said no. So while I am now in the habit of not even trying to guess what's gonna happen in the next episode, cause truly, mm, inspired by this tiny alien on my shirt and because I just wanna guess something. I hate not having a guess, it feels lazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that McGann's brother is gonna come back this episode. It's been a little bit of time. We were introduced to him, you know, helping the new gods uh, oppress the bugs. And then we have Lobo come in and try to kill Forager. So I feel like it makes sense that this might be the time that he comes back. Ooh, so on that note, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get started. Alien. Or just a regular. Oh, it's just Batman, never mind. Hey, Katana! So yes, these are the final two people who are on the poster for this season. Katana I recognize, Metamorpho I don't. I mean, it seems like the same Good luck. kind of amazo robot technology that feels like that should cue a hard rock riff right there, but I don't wanna get copyright struck. Katana, unfortunately, I'm always gonna just hear <laughs> Joel Kinnaman's in freaking Suicide Squad, like, this is Katana, she's got my back. Her soul steals the souls of its victims. I'd advise not getting killed by her. And that's just gonna play on repeat in my head for the rest of time. But at least she's fun and I know who she is. Oh, okay, he's just stretchy. That's not as fun. I don't enjoy the plasticky, stretchy, fantastic Mr. Fantastic Powers. You look stupid. At least Plastic Man is fun. You have to be, because your power is stupid. Mr. Stone. Okay, well, he seems unsyborgy, so... Oh yeah, he's still playing football. College scouts? This is a high schooler? Okay. You've been placed in charge of examining an apocalyptic father box for both Star Labs and the Justice League. Tread lightly, Doctor. From what we understand, Father Box is a pretty much pure evil. Copy. How do you determine that? Technology is neither good nor evil. Technology is neutral. It's simply a matter of how one puts it to you. I feel like I can date these character comic origins just by their names. John Henry? I'm gonna go ahead and say this character was created in 1965. Tell me if I'm right. John Henry. It's an awful name. She's got your back. Oh man, warn me next time, all right? What are you talking about? <coughs> oh no, not me! I swear. Oh, talk about son of a deadly. No, 
not me. And they're like, yes, we threatened to murder a bunch of babies last episode, but this episode, fart jokes. Did it, did it. Okay, that's at least kind of fun. Oh, that does make me think about Doctor Who. Uh, Everything does. Jungle. You really should pay more attention to your surroundings. Okay, this is actually a much more f fun use of his powers than I generally stand for shapeshifty. Besides, like shapeshifting into other people, awesome. Shapeshifting into stuff, usually less awesome. But that was creatively done. So I'm into it. What do you think I'm wearing? Uh, the usual. Why? Something else. Wear something else. Wear something else, please. <laughs> God. They have him training naked. They can't give him. I mean, he looks less slimy than before but they can't give him a little a little vest a cardigan a smock of some kind <laughs> Geoforce, did you see i'm getting very good at not falling good job it, it's most exceptional you are most exceptional you're not though she could do better oh there she is well time out is halo all right she got harpooned last week. She's fine. You're hot. I'm sorry. Forager smells barbecue. <laughs> He's the best character. I'm sorry. Exceptional. Wow. They're just full steam ahead with those two. We're getting along. Don't you mean your kids seem to be getting along? They're not hers. That's what you said when Lobo attacked. Protect my kids. Huh, did I? Well, I can't deny I feel responsible for Brion and uh, Wait, oh, she's backtracking. This is interesting. So the my kids thing was not intentional. She feels like she said too much. Her attachment to Brion, we get it, we've seen it. But Gabrielle, who does not want to be called Gabrielle, and she cleared, she seems to have remembered something about her life, but not everything, so... Dr. Jace could be more involved than we are currently aware. Lady Shiva is said to be the most dangerous woman alive. Probably Good for her. Clear. That's enough for today. Return to your court. I support women's rights and women's wrongs. Okay, I was about to say I love her costume, but it does not look as good from behind. The bikini butt over leggings is not not the look. Maybe just go for like a full short. Oh, that's new. Wait, Katana, Metamorpho, stay put. That man's already in. Does uh, Metamorpho not talk? Why does he not talk? Also, who is he? So many questions. All right, that's enough for today. <laughs> Briona's sucking so hard, I'm ending training. You have us playing games of tag when we should be in Santa Prisca saving my sister. If you're losing games of tag, you're not ready to save your sister. Ready to go up against the League of Shadows. Just you can't catch me in tag. <laughs> Will we follow up on the Santa Prisca lead or not? What makes you think that lead isn't being followed up on as we speak? Are you keeping me in the dark about what's being done to save my own sister? I'm yes. What's best for you and your sister. I almost let my entire team think that our leader had betrayed us and also had killed one of our friends. So, yes. Yes, I am keeping you in the dark. And even, not really, I'm keeping you in the gray because I just told you stuff is happening. I trust all's run smoothly in my absence. Training is well underway. I don't like that voice for Deathstroke. Show great promise. Others? Yes, sir. I'm glad to again be amongst shadows. Although I couldn't help noticing the empty bunk in my dormitory. If I might ask. Did he always sound like that? Barkov? She washed out, but perhaps Granny can find some use for her. Yep. Pity. I rather liked her. Cassandra? Kane? I thought Cassandra Kane doesn't talk. Is this a different person? I'll find out or one of you guys will tell me. So, hmm. how is our young Savage doing? The girl shows a natural aptitude. Oh, right. 
Vandal's Cassandra. Okay, see, like I said, I'd figure it out. And how have you been holding up? Juggling two jobs is no easy feat. Don't insult me. If you can lead the shadows and be the newest member of the light, surely I can be sensei to the shadows and the new enforcer for the light. Of course. My apologies, Lady Shiva. I meant no disrespect. Seriously, did they change his voice actor? Because it feels... I don't know. I don't feel like it gels with his face. Also, I like when villains have to work together, but then they also threaten each other because, like, why would they ever work together harmoniously? Like, that's not their vibe. Nary? Over Wonder Woman? You heard me. We need a tiebreaker. Hey, hey Vic, who, I mean, what would you do if you woke up meta? I'd focus on the game. <laughs> who would you do if you woke up meta? Booyah! We got this in the bag. I always liked Zatanna. She's who I'd ask out if I was a superhero. Taste. <laughs> this girl, a superhero. Oh. I know that name. I am noting the booyah. I'm saving that for later, but it's been acknowledged. All operatives head for the rendezvous point. You need to sneak aboard the boat ferrying the latest Venom shipment off island before it departs. And that's not just bad man. I've been expecting you. No one gets on or off Santa Prisca without they knowing. Except the cult of the Cobra, Aqualad, Robin, Kid Flash. <laughs> Pettiness is actually the best superhero trait. It is long past time we enrolled you in high school, but you'll need a last name too. Um, <laughs> ice cream. Violet ice cream? Sherbert. You can do Sherbert. What about Dow? I mean, after all, it is. No, Dow was Gabrielle's last name, not mine. It's funny because it's spelled D O E, which is just Doe, which is Jane Doe when you don't know who someone is. You guys are legit superheroes, and you're like, I can't think of a fake name. Violet Harper. It is very nice to meet you. It's very nice to be met. She's Excuse me. Dwarves. Bathroom break. Also, am I crazy, or was Lian, 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 Leon? I don't say her name wrong. Well, Wasn't she a brunette as a baby? Lost your touch. When did she become a redhead? Leon needs her mother. Leon. And I need you too. Okay. No. You don't. Neither of you do. Leon is better off without me. And you are too. No. Well, I'm happy he seems like he's still really into Cheshire and not trying to date her sister because that would have been very uncomfortable. And also, I would not sleep with an assassin's sister. I mean, but you came back here now, so... I mean, I can't say that she didn't say last time she was never coming back, but it feels like that's the kind of thing you say and then don't mean because obviously you still really love your daughter. You just have a lot of other issues. It's a complicated situation. No venom, a crutch. One I no longer require. Without it, I have found my true strength. He's like, I do Pilates now. I'm honed like a perfect weapon. <laughs> yeah, no, that suit from behind does not look as good. Katana. As you wish. I like that they're very organized about it. Like, all right, step to the side. Time to sword fight. I am the better swordswoman, but I'll admit your soul taker is the superior blade. Her sword seals the souls of its victims. Oh, I see why they didn't let him talk before. That's a unpleasant voice. Hurts, doesn't it? Sensitive to sure. heat. Sure, it hurts. But you want to know a secret? I'm in near constant pain. I've just learned to adapt. So does Metamorpho have like full like atomic control? Because obviously he can go into like a gaseous state. He can change the density of his skin. Yeah, 
He is not nice in the face. Let's hear it for our savior, Tuvik! Booyah! Tuvik! Booyah! And the Haywood High Steelworkers! I don't like that Booyah is apparently, like, everyone's thing. <laughs> Aww. Look at those other kids with supportive parents who love them and actually check in on them and stuff. Victor Stone. <sighs> Bash Bashford, Metropolis University. Nice to meet you, sir. That was quite the game. That final reception? Mm, exceptional. Seaman. You. Oh, yeah. I know. I know you gotta say that, and I love that you know to say it. I gotta tell you, Vic, we like what we see. You're the whole package. Big, fast, strong, great hands, and good grades to- I don't know why, but he, he doesn't sound like H. Sean Benjamin, and yet I get Mad Archer vibes from him. The college of your choice. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that choice should be met you. Sounds good to me, sir. Like when he was like, just the yell talking? I don't, I don't, I can't explain it. And that's what we in the biz, 8th grade English, like to call foreshadowing. Alright, so that was a fun episode. We got uh, Katana and Metamorpho, who are the final two people on the poster, so we can assume they're going to be, if not fully joining the established Outsiders team that we have, they're going to be a fairly large uh, group or presence in the rest of the season. It stands to reason. Uh, I love an accidental rhyme. Um, Katana and Shiva clearly have some kind of respect for each other, acknowledgement of each other. Uh, Lady Shiva wants her knight, her blade, her 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 soul stealer, soul soul grabber, spirit reacher. A sword that steals the souls of its victims. I forgot the name of it immediately, but. I'm assuming this is going to be like an ongoing beef, um, the same way we have kind of the Artemis and Cheshire thing of like, we respect each other different there because they actually have, you know, familial love for each other despite being on opposite sides. But I think we're going to get some kind of shared backstory between Lady Shiva and Katana. Um, and I'm into that because I, woman first, obviously. Uh, Brion is walking a dangerous path of being a character that's on my shit list. He started perilously close to it got better and has just stocks have decreased in recent episodes he needs to either get good or shut up because i can't stand a character who's bad at stuff who still makes demands like the audacity and granted he's supposed to be rather audacious he's a prince they're not known for being like self-aware and you know having lots of self-control and caring about others and earning their position. Like that's not really what princes are known for, but no one likes a monarchy anyway. So unless you're queen bee and you look good, just fix it, get better. The issue, like when we have like a Connor McGann situation is that him and obviously Connor and Brion favor each other character uh, wise and I hated Connor to begin with, but the thing was, his, he was supposed to be softened by his romance with McGann. The flaw in that was that I also hated McGann, so then together I was like, get them off my screen immediately. Brion, also kind of annoying, but he's partnered with someone I love very much, and so he, he's, he's being dragged along, away from my shit list, just barely, by his connection to Violet, aka Halo, who's just an absolute sweetheart, and She's so cute and charming, and she's actually good, and she's good at training, and just, uh, I'm so proud of her. I want to know why she's completely abandoning all of her past memories and everything that, who she was and what her life was, but, you know, we have to, we have time to uncover that, and that's fine. I'm just, she's such a, she's so good. Uh, Forager is also so good. He's kind of just there for the vibe, and sometimes you need a character like that, so that's fine. Cyborg teasing. I said this. Was it last episode? No, two episodes? Two episodes ago. Where I was like, all right, we got Silas Stone and weird technology. It's not gonna go well for anyone. And by anyone, I meant his son. Um, and so now we are introduced to said son and we had some very, very on the nose, I see great things in your future kid, as we then cut to his father holding the father box. So, um, 
Sorry, Victor, I feel like you're gonna have an accident soon. I don't know if you're gonna make it to college, kid. Sorry. My prediction was very off. <laughs> I, to be fair, I based it in nothing. I just made something up because I wanted to have a prediction because I felt like my intros are getting a little repetitive. So now I think I'm just gonna spend every episode making something up and we'll see if I'm even 1% right. In this case, 0%, absolute goose egg. Nothing was correct about my prediction, but eventually I will be right. And then I will rejoice as though it is the first time I've ever made that guess. A, we, we, we got to meet our two new poster characters who are gonna be obviously important later. We got to explore a little bit more time with our villains, Deathstroke, Lady Shiva, also. <coughs> Confirmation that Deathstroke is the new head of the League of Shadows, which like, fine, I guess. Like he's qualified for the position. Because so, it was just like, you've answered a question, but in a very dry way. I feel like there w there had to have been a more exciting way to reveal that, but mm. um, Cassandra Savage, not Kane. I, I truly did not remember her name from the Fandle Savage Origins episodes. I only remembered Olympia, which is A, a very distinctive name, and B, her own father broke her neck, so, you know, that tends to stick in one's cerebellum a little bit better. That's not where memories are stored. I'm pretty sure it's the hippocampus, but cerebellum came out of my mouth first. Uh, we did get um, a Tara Markov tease, but we also learned that A, she was training with the League of Shadows, B, she washed out. I don't, I mean, maybe it's just me. But I would assume the League of Shadows is the kind of thing where if you fail the academy, you go six feet under. Like, I didn't think there would be a, like, oh, I failed out and now I'm gonna, like, you know, I work for DoorDash now, I'll make an end to meet, you know, while I reevaluate my life direction. Like, that seems like a pretty one or the other situation. But she also is a princess, so maybe that bought her some leeway of, like, okay, we can't, you know, you don't fit here for whatever reason, but you have too much political value. To just get rid of because that would be the kind of long-term planning you'd expect from the light but it does kind of beg the question like what are they keeping around for i mean if she, if she's been working with them to some degree and we did see her kill a guy so she's working with them what's the hold up on revealing her especially since after the death of her parents Markovia is in turmoil like the, the re-emergence of the lost princess would seem like that would give them a lot of influence over that country, especially considering that country has been speaking out about out against the Karakis. So putting in a friendly face probably could help their like political positioning. So I'm not sure what is holding them back from that. But since they have now teased her, I'm thinking maybe in two more episodes because they kind of teased, you know, the upcoming cyborg and then two episodes later we're getting him again and so probably they're gonna push a little bit. So since they have teased, re-teased Tara this episode, I'm gonna say two more episodes. We'll get maybe an answer to one of my questions. Maybe. Dr. Jace walked back her My Kids comment, um, which they're spending a lot, a lot, a lot of time on Dr. Jace. So she has to be important. Like that part, I totally get. But her connection to these kids, because I've been saying this whole time, like, she is uber obsessed with them for kids she barely knows. Even Brion, like, yeah, she was the family doctor, but it didn't seem like, I mean, it seemed like they were close before, but her attachment to uh, Violet, who seems to have never met her before, was very suspicious from the get-go. The fact that she's now like, what, huh? I didn't say that. My kids, I know, they're just nice semi-strangers. I don't know. Like, so... We're doubling down on all of the red flags for Dr. Jace. So hopefully that means we're actually going to get some, some relief, some, some answers for her. Because like, I don't know how long I can watch her and Jefferson playing happy couple. Like, because if you know it's going to end badly, which I feel like we can all agree it's going to end badly. Just, you know, speed it up. We got shit to do. <laughs> I don't need like six more episodes of them doing pillow talk before being like, ah, she's a bad guy. Like, well, she was trafficking children, so. You know what I mean? Like this isn't, they're not gearing up for a real surprise here. So let's just go on, bite the bullet. 
Anyway, I think that's all I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, etc. All of those things that make me very, very happy. If you don't want to do any of that, but you've watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you. I still really appreciate you. You can follow me on Twitter at Leah Sees Movies, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!